A story from the Battle of Gate Pa. Taratoa and the Code of Conduct. Written by Debbie McCauley. Illustrated by Sophie McCauley. Translated by Tamati Waka. And published by Mowal Publishing, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Kia ora, my name is Jess and I'll be reading a story from the Battle of Gate Pa. Taratoa and the Code of Conduct. In 1864, Tauranga Māori and British were about to fight each other at Pukehinehina. This would become known as the Battle of Gate Pa. At Pōtaifi Pa on the Wairō River, a young Ngāiterangi leader named Hinare Taratoa was writing up a code of conduct for the battle. He wanted mercy shown to those wounded during the fighting. Taratoa had been educated by the missionary Henry Williams, so he was able to read and write. He had also travelled the country with Bishop Selwyn, who was the first bishop of New Zealand. Taratoa's first rule was about wounded or captured enemies. He wrote that these people should be saved as long as they gave up their weapons. Taratoa's second rule was about unarmed enemies. He wrote that if they were captured, they should be handed over for trial unharmed. The third rule was about soldiers who are overcome by fear and run away. Taratoa wrote that if they fled to a priest's house, they would be safe and not followed. The fourth and final rule was about women and children. Taratoa wrote that if they were unarmed, then they would not be harmed. The code of conduct was signed by Māori chiefs from Tauranga Moana. Tauranga Māori won the battle against the British and Taratoa stayed true to his code of conduct. During the night following the battle, he was one of those who took water to the wounded lying on the battlefield. A stained glass window at the Litchfield Cathedral in England was dedicated to Taratoa's kind and compassionate act. On the 21st of June, just two months after the Battle of Gate Pa, Taratoa was killed at the Battle of Teranga. The Teranga battle site is on Pais Pa Road, in Tauranga. A copy of the Code of Conduct was found on Taratoa's body along with the words from the Bible in Māori. If thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him to drink. Taratoa was buried in the trenches of Tauranga, but his body was later moved to the Mission Cemetery. It is here that a plaque on the memorial to Ngai Tarangi chief Rawari Puhiraki shows Taratoa bringing water to the wounded. Four months after the Battle of Gate Pa, on the 22nd of August, 1864, the first Geneva Convention was signed. This is an international agreement about the treatment of people captured and wounded during wartime. It has very similar values to Taratoa's Code of Conduct. Ko te mano arere, ko te mano arere. Kia u, kia u. The vision statement for the 2014 commemoration of Te Pakanga o Pukehinehinga, 150 years since the defining moment in Tauranga Moana's history, is to commemorate the actions of our tipuna and phobias who fought and died at the Battle of Pukehinehinga and in the wars for Tauranga Moana to foster a greater understanding of the nature of the conflict, including its effect on people's lives then and for us today. To honour the sacrifices of those who fought and gave their lives at Pukehinehina and Te in 1864 and Te Weranga in 1867. In the early 1860s, people around the world were reviewing methods of warfare and improvements to how wounded soldiers from all sides were treated. Tauranga Māori were among those pondering the same ideals as notable reformers Henry Dunant and Florence Nightingale. Henare Taratoa penned a code of conduct prior to the Battle of Gate Pa at Pukehinehina on the 29th of April 1864. After the battle, the British were stunned not only by their defeat but by Māori compassion. This bilingual book tells the story of Taratoa's code of conduct and the compassionate actions that resulted.